Welcome, Ecamm fam. Today, I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite features inside of Ecamm Live, and that is the virtual camera. In a nutshell, basically, what virtual camera allows you to do is take whatever you see or create or produce in your Ecamm master window and allow you to pipe that to another application that is calling for a camera like Zoom, Google Meet, Teams, many others. Anything that Ecamm can do will now show up there. Now, this comes in really handy for me and why I use it nearly every day. I am using a capture device known as a Black Magic Deck Link Quad. Unlike Cam Links and some of the other capture cards out there, mine can only be active in one application at a time. So because of Ecamm's virtual camera, I can have it activated in Ecamm and then take that output from Ecamm, again, anything that you see in this space right here, and I can pipe that into any other application that is looking for a camera. Now, let me show you how to set this up. And again, because I can only use the camera in one place at a time, I'm going to have to do a little magic in the background. So give me a second. Okay, as you can see, here's my Ecamm interface. What I'm going to do is open up Zoom really quickly and show you what I mean. If I go into the settings inside of Zoom and I come over here to video and effects, you see my camera box is black and all you see here is my deck link quad and there's the four different inputs, but that's super useless to me. So let's go ahead and quit this real fast, get it out of the way. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. So in the Ecamm master window, we want to go up to where it says output and we want to come down to virtual camera and we're going to say install virtual cam. So once you do that, it's going to do some stuff real quick and put in your password. And then once it's done, you're going to have to go into system settings to make some adjustments. So it wants to go and add something to login and camera extensions. It's going to ask you again to go to system settings that should pop up here. And in theory, I already have it set up. I like to go here. It can get confusing, but you see it says Ecamm Live Virtual Camera. If you don't see it, you can always go by category and then click on camera extensions and you'll see Ecamm Live Virtual Camera here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So once we turn that on, password again. I find it very helpful in, in Tahoe. You're going to see that in your regular system. You won't necessarily see that. So it needs us to quit and restart Ecamm Live. Sometimes you can just say later, but for safekeeping, let's go ahead and quit that. We'll let that close down and then it should automatically restart Ecamm. There we go. And then give it a second. And of course, when it first comes back again, just the way the, this camera app works, I might have to quit it and do it one more time. And you won't necessarily have that unless you have one of these devices that likes to play goofy but I'll go ahead and give it a new pop-up. All right, there we go, camera comes back. And if you look here in the corner, if I go up to output again and go to virtual camera and have it where it says ready, then that means you normally will see virtual camera out is available to me. So now that we got that installed, let me go ahead and open up Zoom real quick. And then I'll go into my Zoom preferences. I'll come down to my audio and video and now you can see the camera exists here and show you one more. Let's open up QuickTime. And I'll go to QuickTime and what I do is cancel this and come up to the top and say new movie recording. And again, if I were to pull this drop down box, you'll see Ecamm virtual cam is there. So with Ecamm open and with QuickTime and with Zoom, look, they all work. In fact, if I were to come back over here to Zoom, let's make the QuickTime one just a wee bit smaller. If I were to come back over here to Ecamm, and then bring up a graphics file. Let's do this. Ba -ba. See, anything that I do in Ecamm shows up over here perfectly, including if I switch to like my overhead camera, you know, and say I want to go back to this or I want to come back to my standard Ecamm look. This is why virtual camera is so powerful because it allows you to be in control of what shows up on your camera, no matter what the application is asking for, instead of just say, picking another webcam. As you can see, virtual camera is not only powerful, but it's very easy to use. And this is why it is one of my favorite features and everyday use features inside of Ecamm Live. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can absolutely drop them down in the comment section below. Of course, you can always reach out to us by pressing that support button inside the app or over on the website at Ecamm.com. And like we like to say around here, we are Ecamm and we're here to help. 
Make sure you subscribe to all of our emails because we got a lot of cool, funny events coming up for you. We want to make sure that you don't miss anything. Aloha.